Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. King Ori. We have yet another classic show lined up for you. It is, however, important that we start with a reminder uh, today. Vile tuliongea earlier this week, maze. Guys, the next three weeks will not be conducive to pick Twitter fights with any country. It's a good thing that we all agreed not to pick any fight. So, ni kumbusha tu. I don't want to be nagging. This is after the reactions to the documentary by BBC's Sharon Mashira on Kenya's most loved and feared private detective, now turned public, Jane Mogo. It's a half-hour news feature that uh, has left the country stuck at these few seconds of action. <laughs> the moment I saw that, I remembered what happened to Boni Halwale when he ran for Kakamega governor. But then again, success is, determ is determined by how you bounce back after you fall. I did not see a big deal with the detective falling. My interest was drawn to the speech right before the karate showcase. It is a very good method of protecting yourself in case you don't have a gun, you don't have a paper spray, you cannot fight, taekwondo like Jin Mogo. So it is one of the weapons you should be able to know whether you are a woman or a man. You can do taekwondo. I can do taekwondo, but uh, my uniform... Show me some moves. You can do it. <laughs> now, there goes your confirmation that there's a strong relationship between what you wear and the kind of beating you give or receive. The relationship between fashion and violence goes way back. There's an unwritten rule, ya wanaume wanataka kupigana lazima watuwe shati. Back in the days of corporal punishment, a teacher would not beat you with heavy dressing on. Kama meva koti ataitoa diwa kuvae. I think this is why in Sheng, kupigana inaitua kuvaana. So it is my submission that the detective not wearing her karate uniform is what spoiled the scene. Look at the mighty hacker Nikabaya. Maskini wa mongu. Unajua, what people don't know, did not notice ni Detective Jane alikuwa nataka kujishikilia na nyuele ya Sharon Mashida akaikosa. Ange shika hata moja. Sharon Mashida angekuwa mashkini wa mungu. Now, Detective Jane was very right that she needed her uniform to perform karate. A uniform is very important for anyone doing police work. And take the example of this police officer who found himself in hot soup just for not being in his uniform. Word is that she did not wear a mask na wakati alikuja akashikwa na makara wenzake akasema yeye ni polisi but hakuwa na uniform. Now as far as I'm concerned the karate beat in that documentary was fine. You people should leave the detective alone. The only bit that was suspicious for me was when detective Jane went to inspect a murder scene and all the evidence they collected was junk food. There's a difference between bread and uh, and the tomato sauce or chili. Is this food, chips or something? What I remain? This remains for what? Look like a burger. Oh my god, like a donut. Wada unajua cholesterol pia inaweza kuwa mtu lakini this for me ah ah. Ama this was coded language ya vile chips funga inapita na wazee. Now the other reason that made me feel that people judged the piece unfairly was about the dog. People did not appreciate the creativity applied here. Meta think should be Hitler. He's the father of all. And His name is Hitler? He's Hitler. He hits very hard and we love him. And what, he's actually, what do you call him Hitler? Uh, definitely when you hear the word Hitler, it comes from the word hit. He hit on everyone, especially our enemies, of course. Not friends like you, because you are my friend. Hit. La. Wordplay. I think people are just mad that she called her dog Hitler and it's not a German shepherd. Now, other people felt that she was, uh, that the training was exaggerated. Charlie One is on record saying that the training is probably better than the Navy SEALs. Now, here's a snippet of the U.S. Navy SEALs training for endurance. Hayabasi, now compare that to Jane Mugos, sorry, Detective Jane Mugos, soldiers training for the same. What do you want? What do you want? Can you see this? This? Can you, can you breathe? 
He can't even breathe. Now, how is blocking someone's nose like that meant to help? Is it, is it, is that, is that training for endurance or they are simply rehearsing for COVID? Now, at least the bit uh, where they are being whipped as they serve lunch makes sense because kila mtu anajoi Nairobi hakuna mtu anakula raisi. Food kwanza is just a whole new department. To test for poison, she won't eat food unless someone tries it first. Charlie One has an extra long spoon specifically for this. How does Uyo Charlie One, the bodyguard, know what poison tastes like? Aha. Madam, Uyo Pilao vile nashikia leo wapana. Hiyo siyo masala. Now, how do they know that the food is poisoned? Because if it means that the, the role of the bodyguard is to die in case the food is poisoned, then it means that before Detective Jane takes any meal, there's an attempted suicide. Not even her personal chef is above suspicion. In fact, your clip ndo ilifanya ni juwe Detective Jane ameomoka kama chef wake ni Tracy Morgan. My humble opinion is that these people do not taste food for poison. Ni kuonja tu kama ikona chumvi. And based on what you've seen, Detective Jane anafanya iyo department ya kuongeza chumvi. I am the best in the world. In Africa, in Kenya, nobody can beat me up. Mazeyo kitu watunge kosa kuyongelea wiki, wiki man. Ah, that will be unforgivable. And there's so much we could say. But to more important news now, uh, Madame, we are reliably informed that wana kuangana pesa mobs ana chini ya maji. Joke is on whoever thinks that women are all about depending on men for financial support. Madame wakona kakitu. For this reason, our guest for this episode is one of your favorite musician who also happens to be a finance expert. Na ako na sisi on the show tunata kujua how much secrets she can spare from the ladies. Nadia Mukami joins us on the other end of this short commercial break. So see you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Leo tukona shunzito sana kama kawaida. Our guest for this episode is one of, if not the finest female musicians in the country right now. The African pop star Nadia Mukami is in the house. Yes, that is a warm welcome. <laughs> karibu sana. Manji. Asante sana. Karibu, karibu. Asante. I like the way you say it, warm. Yeah. It's a warm, warm. warm. Welcome. Introduction. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. as I think I needed, I needed, uh, I needed to confess this on set. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the best music to come out of 2020. Yeah. I believe it came out of 2020. I discover later. Yeah. And I, I made noise about this on radio kabisa. Yeah. Ni goma inaitwa jipe. Imefanywa collab. Yeah. Na Mario. Yeah. Wow. Hey, manze, 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 manze. <laughs> we went through the hustle, tussle, and bustle of shooting that video, but it was worth it. I love for time to na tour yeah. after all that tussle and bustle, COVID in a hit. So just M imagine. before COVID? Tulitua, actually, tulitua kama Tuesday, yes. alafu tukaenda lockdown on Friday. Oh Lord. So I'm jai perform at ile na performance your what we yeah. expect. Ni, ni perform is it December? Ni me perform ah. kidogo kidog of course using the protocols and measures by WHO za COVID but it, it was like for me initially I felt like it was a loss but um, online or digitally speaking it's at least we made a few royalties here and there. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that, that, that was imagine it has been on my playlist from when I had it first. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Thank you for that nice uh, yeah. wonderful piece of work. Yeah. But Leo atuko hapa kwa mziki peke yake. Leo nataka ume come highly recommended kwa mambo ya pesa alafu nikakutana na the financial discipline. Yeah. Uh, project yeah. yako. Yeah. Kwanza, uh -huh. I was speaking to uh, our producer on radio, yeah. Anitua Wini. Yeah. Haka niambia madame, mm -hmm. ali confess. It yeah. was a confession. Haka sema yeah. madame mukona kakitu. Pesa. <laughs> pesa nao mukona yo. Yeah. Which begs the question, mm -hmm. pesa yenu inakuanga ya nini? Actually, wacha mkwambia, madame siti tukona kakitu sana, but tunajua kujipanga. Let me give you a practical example I use when I'm talking to my online chama members. Yeah? Mama zetu, back in the day, wangeza kuambia, Sina pesa, kab, yana, sina, tuko karibu kula lanja. Lakini. lakini mtoto wa gonjaka kwa hiyo boma, you're taken to the best, you get the best medication. Because wa mama ama ladies wanajua kusave pesa. Actually, that's why when when you're getting married, unapia tafta dema najua kupanga, kupanga maisha. Unaelewa? So I think ladies tunajua sana kujipanga. 
na ukisema mnaweza kuwa wa mama wanaweza kuwa na pesa mm -hmm na watu wa kufenja yeah. but anajua <laughs> anangoja bad a bad omen yeah. pesa yenu ni a bad omen where do you get the, uh -huh. the energy where do you get the audacity mm -hmm. to call us stingy <laughs> see what eh? in a depend unajua mm -hmm. mimi ni independent lady <laughs> mimi ni boss lady okay. so mimi pesa yangu najitafutia mwingine akiamua niongezee sema one day I'll be married it's okay but yangu ni yangu Hmm. So ina depend nani ndo ana, anaita na stingy. <laughs> okay, so you draw your inspiration ya yeah, yeah. financial planning mm -hmm. from your culture ya uh, our mothers ya yeah. in yeah. priorities. Yeah, priorities. In business we call them emergency funds. So most of the time ni poor kama mtu kama binadamu unakuwa na emergency funds. Mali nitakuwa confused mm -hmm. ni mm -hmm. basi for the ordinary person how do you decide on emergencies? Because mm -hmm. unaweza kuumeka hivi <laughs> uko na stress mazi yeah. kitu emergency sasa hiyo ni mzinga yeah. so ukikunywa mzinga sasa hiyo mm -hmm. emergency who decides the emergency because I, I, i don't believe mm -hmm. i don't believe in the concept of mm -hmm. eh mazi i pesa mm -hmm. nimestick pale kwa mm -hmm. mtu akikuwa mgonjwa hii pesa acha ni ini ya malaria mazi unajua uwezi jua no haweki kama ati ini ya malaria man that's the same way enye i'm not here to preach about insurance that's the same way ni poa kupata insurance ju hujui kitu ina happen kesho yeah. you know ujui mtu yani ushaikuwa umekuwa poa all of a sudden uko na headache alafu pesa ulikuwa nayo ndio umetoka kutumia mother mm. na uko na headache na unawezi mtumpigia simu ombe but then nimeshikwa na it's you know it's embarrassing and it's not right maybe ali kwa pia na emergency zake so emergencies doesn't mean that you're pre-planning it means that you're ready for anything na last year at least um, 2020 yeah. was kind because uh, covid ilingoja january ishe <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> that's a good part this time eh, yeah. 2021 yeah. covid imeshikana na january it's a partnership <laughs> <laughs> na najua watu wameitwa kuna kitu tunasema anga eh, Nairobi mm -hmm. inakuita mkutano yeah. you are in the boardroom with the city yeah. alone yeah. Nairobi mai kuita meeting mimi ni shy ni kusota, eh, when time nimetoa radio love I, i had a big name but i was very broke wacha i was very very broke ulikuwa kwa boardroom napanda tu eh napanda matatu kama wenzangu nyimbo ni kubwa cuz radio love was a big banger it was really really big I but know. i was super super broke so ilibidi nijiteka mkutano cuz kuna mwanamuziki mwenye anajua the music business vizuri yeah. kuna kitu inaitwa cpm Unaweza yeah. kuwa uko na views mingi but how generate do yes. your audience. Yes. Wewe ni mtu wa YouTube I'm sure unaielewa. Ah. You have a CPM. So nikajeta mkutano ndo nikatoa maombi. So maombi lipandisha CPM yangu hadi wa leo. Sikiza zangu hadi wa leo. So inataka anga unaka una chini unajevaluate unajiambia wapi ndo nakosea. I know it's a gospel song someone is going to criticize I was doing it for money but no I was at the end of the day we have bills to pay. I was doing it thanking God because of the tough situations and at the same time nilikuwa napandisha pia CPM yangu. So ni poa kujita mkutano na Nairobi nafunza. So ngoja Radio Love mm -hmm. ilikuwa na CPM low yeah. but maombi ilikuwa hi. So ni CPM ama ni Yesu? Unajua ni zote. <laughs> <laughs> Zote ni key, key factors and zina fuel each other. Hey. Juu kwa mtu mwenye analoa biashara mziki, kuna nyimbo ukitoa unatafuta hype, unatafuta jina. So wow. what you do with the name is where you draw the line. Like now I have the name. What am I going to do? How am I going to use my name to make money? So that was the dilemma I was in. Because that's why unapata msanii amekuwa hot kwa market, mm. alafu tunaanza kumchekelea. It's because we didn't have We don't have proper people who, who can advise us that it's okay. It's okay to do a hype song. But you need someone who's telling you that he hype pia high lipi bills because for me radio love opened so many doors in terms of hype. But yeah. in terms of money not so much. For But you. Maombi really opened all all the same the, the some of the two endorsements I have today. It was like ya do financial break breakout. Financial yeah. Breakout yeah, financial song. breakout yeah. Siri ya kujipanga ni nini? Siri ya kujipanga na do siri ya kujipanga mimi mm. nachukia kitu inaitwa kuomba omba because just to, to retaliate or take you back yeah? yeah when i was famous in brook uko na contact list unajua kila mtu but huwezi kupa mtu do at the back of your mind you're like huyu atanichukuaje yeah, yeah. ana kwanza unampima yeah, you know yeah. kuna wale watu wenye yeah, msanii ali atakuwa niko msanii but it's it's true it, it comes it's it's true sina but niko na jina you know so hiyo ndo kitu yenye 
Mr. Kagi kurudi place nimetoka. Yeah. Mi nimetoka mbali. Mi si yeah. say ati nimezaliwa na do or something. Mi si cool kids. Mi, yeah, mi si cool kids. Ata, I'm not next to cool kids, you na know. Na niliwa na desagu wa kita. <laughs> desagu wa kiyomba mungu wa kuoe. <laughs> oh, mi. So, uh, yeah. mi. Anataka kugurudisha gedhurai na umesema urudi malumi. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my hometown. That's my hometown. So, kurudi so, so tunarudi to, na, to kirudi tunarudi Thanksgiving. You know. Unajua ujibu. Ume bypass story. You're not making any comments about the Sagu's <laughs> marriage. Ah uh, no, the Sagu is my friend and my homie. Yeah. So, is it between any highlights? <laughs> <laughs> Kwanza kuna story flani. Eh. Mm, uh, chali yako akikukopesha do mm -hmm. utarudisha. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yangu ni yangu. Yake ni yetu. <laughs> ah, Bye, I'm joking. Code red, code red. Our agenda is watching. <laughs> Our agenda is watching. Background, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. background in finance. Yeah. So that's uh, tukonongea mm -hmm. before, before kuingia kwa set. Yeah. Eh, ku interest yako na kusoma finance ilitoka kwa nini? Mimi na, neza sema mini, mini mtum creative like minimum to unajua creativity pia in terms of numbers 1 yeah. 2 3 yeah. so venye nili nilingia campus nilikuwa najiuliza nataka kufanya muziki but yeah. nimeitwa kufanya hii hii mambo ya finance so nikajita mkutano tena nikajiambia because i want to get into music i can use this someday uh -huh. because every time when i was starting out people used to ask me because I, i was still in school utatumiaje hii finance okay. kwa nini yako na yeah. sima ime play a very very huge mi wezi ni gonga hii nairobi yeah. hawezi ni gonga do mambo ya tax juu na sima sijui kuna tax gani najua tax zenye kampuni nafaa kulipia na zenye mi nafaa kulipia So having that background pia ya kufanya ma audit hapa pale um, receipts invoices imenisaidia sana ku run muziki yangu ku run nice. pia biashara yangu professionally like as an artist That's yeah. Very nice. yeah and actually using it in terms of uh, using the, the the platform that God has given me that is being known to the people and giving back through financial literacy to the people in your experience mm -hmm. achana muziki how difficult is it mm -hmm. to get to make a million bob clean it's difficult It's really, really difficult. And me, Usema, you make a million unexpected. Awezi panga. Ile sikuenye unapanga ti, how, kwanza ndo maybe utenda losses. But ile sikuenye, you're just working hard, you're telling, me I'm very spiritual. You're just take, telling God, eh, take control. Yeah. Let it happen. Where do you think Madame will go wrong? Extra spending. Unajua Madame kuna yo stuff ya beauty. Unaharibu pesa on... So much be it's good. Hata mimi napenda urembo, napenda kwa poa, napenda kuvangu mzuri mzuri. But you have to always know where do you draw the line. Like is square ti sasa you spending you spending so much on on you how you look or your output no na sawa pia kujiendeleza. You get? Like hata kama mimi usema mimi work na, na wase wangu mimi waambia tupige mwili pole after kazi. Unajua kujipiga mwili pole but kuna kitu mmefanya mnajua next month atutakosa. Sisi kila siku napiga mwili pole. You know like kama ni, ni unataka kujispoil unataka kununua the best makeup kit ni after umefanya kitu ya maana yenyewe za generate do. So mimi hapo ndo mimi feel si huko si kidogo. Though si wote wenye maybe wanakosea urembo sana. Yeah. Nilikuwa nataka kuuliza kupiga mwili pole yako ni gani alafu kataja makeup kit. We ah, si makeup actually. Kupiga <laughs> Unajaribu <laughs> After how long, as in ukikalia kiti, how long una? People take it out of context. <laughs> no, you can't, uh, can't take like, it out of context. Na penda, na penda vitu, na penda, I like a big house and I love good things in the house. So, so we, we three months. Three months. <laughs> <laughs> TV maybe you know um he kiti he pale i, I change like but see is that the thing that you know what does the tv have to do with owing your body an apology 
napenda vitu poa hiyo sasa me that's my my satisfactory setting whatever napenda vitu poa actually napenda napenda shopping na napenda nyama choma unapenda shopping na unapenda nyama choma eh hey. hey, najua na hizi kwanza ni hizi centers they are not posh hizi centers they are mtu eh nadia ndio kukusotesha zaki <laughs> zaza nisotesha <laughs> na vitu za nyumba na manguo na wewe ni msanii umefanya finance yeah. uh, probably uh, kama, kama kama ungekuwa if you hadn't uh, joined the music industry mm-hmm. and had hadn't put in the work that you have to get to where you are now mm-hmm. you know get mm-hmm. you'll probably be looking for work mpaka sasa hii yeah right mm. um kuna watu sasa hii hawana job yeah. kuna demo amefanya finance but hayuko in music so yeye ni wewe mwenye afanye muziki yeah. you know get mm. now what's your advice in terms of finance moves like to take yourself to the next level i'm not asking about to save from nothing but in terms of ideas kama e ni aje Uh, madem demo anaweza fanya nini kama haja get job yes kuna mwenye ame, amesoma na bado mm-hmm. anatafuta job yeah. na kuna mwenye hana form bado kuna zile shule za mtaani zenye unaenda upewe mimi nishaifanya hiyo huko mweho do primary school kingine hapo you can offer ku, ku teach ata watoto about business utapewa peni kidogo but it's better than staying at home kama u, yani you can find an opportunity ya kuanzisha hata financial consultancy now that's on entrepreneurship there are yeah. so many companies that need financial consultancy yes. watu wa make to accountant but they forget they, we also need a financial consultant mtu mwenye anambia ha spend hii pesa hivi 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 you know so there are so many opportunities squeeze kuna online you can start your own to master classes on youtube teaching people you you generating revenue podcasts highly paying so i think tuna create two zile opportunities zenye Squeeze ukiwa tuna na smartphone unaji create opportunity and I'm sure you can make something out of yourself. Na me we believe hard work. Hakuna siku hard work yeah. itaiko sa ku pay off. Hakuna. Kuna wana mtu sema mimi nimetia bit. No. God is waiting for that ka day. Hakuna siku yenye hard work haijai pay off. Hakuna. That's, that's a very very wonderful uh, thing yeah. to say. Hakuna siku hard. It's I think true. to change kidogo seme mm-hmm. hakuna siku working smart mm. itawai kosa haitawai kosa results eh, kuna wa, kuna working smart mm-hmm. ya working hard ya ku work smart yeah. like unaweza work hard in the wrong direction yeah. unaweza put effort in the wrong direction True. but if you exert your effort in the right direction and yeah. give it your best it's bound it's gonna work to work yeah results Oh, wow. Tunaanza <coughs> tunaanzisha masterclass. Ah, 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 but but you're such a vibe. You're such a vibe. <laughs> sana, sana. And I'm so glad we had you on the show leo, on the show leo. Na ulisema wewe si cool kid. Ah. <laughs> Very far. Ah, sana. I'm a local manangi. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.